you know all the answers inside of you already. You may have heard that many times. Maybe this is your first time ever hearing that, but you really do. You really do know what is best for you. It's just that we have to release ourselves from any distractions or any external messages that are telling us otherwise. Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Ro and today we're gonna talk about how I gain clarity after I feel lost. And I definitely have felt lost many times in my life, specifically these past three years, because who hasn't felt lost during the pandemic? Every time I feel lost, I am actually very grateful that I feel lost because I know and trust that it's another way and opportunity for me to gain a little bit more clarity on where I am going in life and where I am in life. And it's not something that I used to embrace before. I definitely used to beat myself up for feeling lost and feeling like I don't have everything figured out because honestly, nobody has it figured it out. And if you talk to somebody and they say they have it, I'll figure it out. I uh, will we'll let you discern whether or not to believe that or not. I definitely have learned that even though that we are human and that we are all growing and and if you are here listening to this, I trust that you are somebody who is somebody who loves to grow and to learn and want to become a human being that's better every single day. So I know how much it sucks to feel lost when I don't have that mindset of embracing it and leaning into it and allowing myself to feel however I feel when it comes to being lost. And when it comes to finding clarity, there are different ways that I have gained clarity after feeling lost. And the first and most important thing that I do is I must sit with myself. That is the the most important thing to do because you know all the answers inside of you already. You may have heard that many times. Maybe this is your first time ever hearing that, but you really do. You really do know what is best for you. It's just that we have to release ourselves from any distractions or any external messages that are telling us otherwise and are telling us that you need to do this and you need to do that. Because I am the type of person who encourages you to explore because that's what we need more of. I was just listening to a quote from Mel Robbins on Instagram and she was talking about how when you feel lost, it's because you're stuck because you're not letting yourself explore and you're not letting yourself and your soul just let yourself be free and do what you want. And we're human, we have egos, our egos have limiting beliefs and programs that have been ingrained into us to tell us otherwise that we have to do things a certain way or we have to only do one thing and we can't change and change is bad, but that's not how I live my life. <laughs> At least that's how I don't live my life anymore because I definitely used to live my life like that. And there are still times where I feel like I definitely am lost and don't know where to go next. But again, the very first thing that I do is I sit with myself and I face myself and I'm honest with myself, even if the honesty is okay, I notice myself feeling lost right now and I don't know where to go next. That's okay. There's nothing to force yourself to do when you feel lost. It's really just allowing yourself to be in touch with your body, be in touch with how you feel, be in touch of your thoughts and not judging those thoughts as good or bad. Something I've been practicing more is uh, um, this quote. I forgot what podcast I was listening to. I've listened to so many podcasts to, to learn a, a lot of different ways to grow. But there's this story about how there's this person that doesn't label anything as good or bad. <laughs> they say, good thing, bad thing, who knows? And all of these beautiful, abundant opportunities kept coming towards him because he was in that neutral space of good, bad, I don't know, who knows? We'll see what happens. So coming from a neutral standpoint of whenever it is that you feel lost or whenever you feel lost, just observing it and taking yourself out of that perspective and those thoughts. And I know sometimes it can be hard. It's, it's easy to spiral down thoughts and patterns and and you know beating yourself up because trust me i've been there many times 
And that's why the second thing that I do is that I seek support and I seek help. And for me, seeking help looks like numerous different ways. Sometimes I'm listening to a podcast. Sometimes I go to somebody and talk to somebody. I talk to a friend, talk to a mentor. And sometimes I just let myself receive help, however that looks like at that time. Sometimes not seeking help is, is one way that you can actually receive help. The most important thing is that you're open to receive help and you're open hearted to receive that support because we're all here to help each other. And, you know, when we have those moments of going down a certain lane and a certain spiral, it's so important to communicate and let go and externally speak that feeling and that expression in in a healthy way and in a safe space and a safe container because i've had moments where i've expressed myself and not in a safe space and then my just get i just get invalidated and so remembering to seek out support with your discernment and and really letting yourself be open to receive and shift your mindset and and start planting those seeds to help you come into a neutral standpoint. It's slowly taking those steps to first getting to neutrality and then it gets closer and closer into clarity of where you want to go next. So I hope this helped. If you've been feeling lost, I feel you and I understand how much it can be difficult in the moment, but those are the two things that I do to gain clarity whenever I do feel lost. And I do have moments of feeling lost sometimes, but it happens less and less with every time I practice observing instead of judging and and repeating this cycle of, of beating, beating myself up for feeling lost. So I hope this helped. I'm sending you so much love. If you are seeking somebody to support you on your journey of going from feeling lost to gaining clarity, I have facilitated for over a thousand people worldwide. So I am also opening up my one-on-one client work again, if you're open to receive. So I would love to chat with you, see if there's anything that aligns for the both of us and any description or any information about that is in the description box below. And also I wanted to thank all the beautiful tippers who help keep this production running with your contributions financially because I need to pay for my editing software and Canva and all that. So I thank you so much for being able to help me co-create these videos for the collective consciousness. And until next time, bye loves. Everything from the past affects how you are today. What you've learned from your family, your family learned it from their family, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so the cycle keeps on repeating until you make the decision to do something about it, if, if that's something that you don't wanna continue.